Turn the key switch to the run position. To enter the menu system that is not password protected, press and hold the menu button and then press the enter button at the same time. You will now have access to the menu selections that are not password protected. To view these menu selections, keep pressing the menu button. To enter a particular section of the menu system, such as engine parameters, press the up arrow button. Keep pressing the up arrow button to scroll through the information. You can also use the down arrow button to reverse your direction. Pressing the menu button will always return you to the main menu titles. Continue pressing the menu button until you reach controller setup. This is where you will enter the password protected configurable menu system. Just like you entered engine parameters, press the up arrow button to enter the controller setup menu. You will see enter password. Press the enter button to bring up the editing brackets. To enter the password, press the up arrow button until you get to the correct first digit of the password. Press enter. Repeat that process until all four numbers of the password are entered. Once again, for each number of the password, you need to press the up arrow button until you get to the correct digit. You then press enter to move on to the next step. Once all four digits of the password are entered, you may view the password protected configurable menu options by pressing the up arrow button. Use your menu button to cycle through the configurable menu options. This is where you can change important engine values such as throttle speed. Continue pressing the menu button to get to a particular menu option. In this case, press the up arrow button to enter the throttle configuration menu. Continue to press the up arrow button until you reach the desired setting that you want to change. In this case, our torque speed control maximum is 2400 RPM. Anytime you want to change a setting, Press enter to bring up the editing brackets. If the editing brackets do not appear, the password was not entered properly. When this happens, go back to the controller setup menu and re-enter your password. To return to the controller setup menu, press the menu button until you get to exit setup. Then press the up arrow button and you will see controller setup. Repeat the same process previously shown in this video to enter the correct password and return to the configurable setting that you wish to change. Press enter to bring up the editing brackets. In this case, our desired torque speed control maximum is 1800 RPM. To decrease the setting value, keep pressing the down arrow button. You can press the down arrow button to make minor changes, or you can hold down the arrow button and the numbers will scroll quickly. To increase your setting value, press the up arrow button. Once you have reached your desired value, press enter to remove the editing brackets. If you are satisfied with your change, press the menu button to return to the configurable menu options. If you have no other changes to make and you want to exit the menu system to return to the normal engine operating screen, press and hold the menu button and then press the enter button at the same time. After making a change to any configurable menu setting, turn the key switch to the off position. Then turn the key switch back to the run position. This will save any new changes made to the controller memory.